Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom, and today I'm back with more from the July 2023 Brimfield Flea Market. Let's see what else we can find. So this caught my eye. This is a 1957 Ericsson Ruin Bakelite telephone. Never seen one of these before. You can tell these are real when they're this heavy. Very heavy, yeah. Made in Holland. Made in Holland. Oh. Ruin. Yeah, it's a very old style. Oh, what the heck is that? What is that? I don't know. Ericsson Holland 57. Because what is the white button for? I don't know. Maybe hold or something? Yeah, because maybe this was, I don't know. Yeah. Like a secretary's or something, you know? Hey, excuse me? Yeah. Uh, you got 15 on the phone. Can you do any better? Well, I just dropped it from 25, but I, I'll do 12. 12? I'll do 12. Okay. Works for me. I just bought this like five days ago. Um, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It, it, it's an alternative maybe, but uh -huh. then how would you hear? Yeah. Maybe if you didn't want to hear. Or if you wanted to oh, listen yes. in or something? You just want to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Very strange. Here's an antique toy giraffe. I've seen these before and I think somebody once told me they're from Toys R Us, but I don't know about that. It looks a little bit too old to be from Toys R Us. So of course I've got to stop and look at the character glasses. This is one I've never seen before. This one says Expo 66 Vancouver and I looked that up. Apparently that was a World's Fair. Never heard of it before. Rocky? Yeah, I've got the whole Rocky and Bullwinkle set. Got most of these actually. Tom and Jerry. The Great Root Bear from A and W. Hi, how much are the uh, glasses? The character glasses? I have ten pieces on the character glasses. Okay. All right. Thanks. Whew, I'm gonna melt. And if I hadn't mentioned it, it was actually one of the hottest Brimfield shows I've ever been to. It was almost 100 degrees. It was brutal. All right, maybe on the way out, because I've never seen those before. A couple of And as always, don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. Thanks. Never seen a surfboard before here. They say on the back of some guy in the middle of the river on a surfboard. Oh, yeah. Imagine him blowing on me. Never heard of team before. No. Apparently, team was a lemon lime soda produced by Pepsi and it was discontinued in 1984, which is probably why I don't remember it. Very squishy book. Yes. It's a very 70s van. Oh, yeah. Honka. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. It's got a sliding door on it. Oh, nice. I looked that one up on eBay, and they seem to sell for about 60 to $70 in very good condition. I was looking for one of these that um, is a dog. I remember I saw one oh, yeah. last time. Different vendor, but it looks like the same yeah. type of stuff. Yep. A chicken on a tricycle. Yeah. There was one that looked like a like a Boston Terrier or a yeah. Bulldog type. Yeah. Oh. I've never seen a big one like this. There's a big boy. 135. 35? 135. Oh, oh very heavy. It weighs about 135. 
large bulldog. I'd say it's a Boston Terrier person. But... Yeah. It's a big boy. It is. Does anybody out there know if that's an actual antique or if that's a reproduction? I've said it before, but it's very difficult for me to tell the difference. This is kind of cool. This is a Dairy Queen party book. I would guess it's probably from the 50s or 60s, just based on the way the people are dressed in it. It almost looks like an old comic book, minus the actual comic book story. It was part of a uh, party thing when you had a Dairy Queen, if you had oh. a birthday party. Yep. There were in the original cases, you had the book, the mirror, a uh, boat whistle, a little feather. Oh, this came with maker. it? Yep, they were all 1960 Dairy Queen. Oh, wow. I think there were like six things in the box. Yep. And there was 50 of each. Wow. For, you know, birthday parties. Neat. Yeah, I've never seen those before. Yep. The funny thing is, the packaging was uh, toothpaste on the box. Oh. Okay. So oh, okay. They repurposed the box originally. Yep. And because a buddy of mine had hundreds of cases of it in a warehouse. Yep. And he thought it was dried up toothpaste for years. God. He opened the box one day and he calls me. He goes, uh, "He's got some here, and I think you can do something with it." Yeah, nice surprise. Better than, <laughs> way better than toothpaste. Yeah. Okay. Neat. So does anybody out there know what this is? It says beat the dealer. Obviously it's a gambling device of some sort, but I have no idea what. It's actually might be a smaller pair right here with red on it. Yeah. Thanks very much. Like those old lighting fixtures. Oh yes. Yep. Looks like they would have been in a warehouse or something. Mm -hmm. I like this old RC Cola vending machine here. It's probably from the 60s, just based on the way it looks. And I think it's sold. Just like this Coca-Cola cooler here, it's sold. And this was almost certainly used like in a commercial store of some sort, a restaurant or a convenience store, something like that. It's a big old Coke cooler. Yeah. Flintstone Kids, oh, Pizza Hut. Yeah. Hardee's. Oh. I don't have any Hardee's up there. You have those? No, I don't. Hey, is this your booth? It uh, looks like, I guess you have seven each on these. Mm -hmm. Would you take ten for the two? Yep. Okay, I'll do that. So I was especially excited to get the Hardee's glass because I live in New England and there are no Hardee's in New England. I think the closest is maybe oh. Pennsylvania. So it's very uncommon that you see them at yeah, flea markets yeah, up could, in actually. New England. I don't think that's the original seat. No. It's been reupholstered. Yeah, it's been reupholstered. Here's something you don't see every day. This is a dragon, which I would guess it was probably from a restaurant, maybe? Or a store, yeah. I'm not really sure. If anybody knows where this is from, let me know. Or maybe it's just a one of a kind. This old uh, pinball machine here. Yeah. Oops, sorry. <coughs> Oh, 
Like those old pedal cars there. Yeah. Is that supposed to happen? So the reason I have an umbrella is not because of rain, but because of the sun. It was so hot that my camera was overheating, like after about five minutes. And also I was overheating, so the umbrella was very helpful. Oh, I highly recommend it. Back in the day. Well, what are those things bouncing around in there? solar powered plant toys. Yeah, solar poinsettias. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Those look like ones from a from like a playground. Oh. That yeah. would have been up on one of those springs, probably. Oh yeah, it's very heavy. Steel or iron. Yep. Yeah. Very odd. <laughs> what are you asking on those? The, it looks like it has a, a 125. Like, that was the old price. These are, I think she's got 20 on any of the, any of the hmm. And oh. this is a self-portrait. This <clears throat> is the woman who painted it. Oh, okay. I, I've met her. Oh, okay. It, it does look like her. Hmm. You got Ronald years old living in South Wales. Oh, really? She's, uh, her creative mind is keeping her going. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. They have a place, I just don't know. Yeah, I'm not the hugest fan of clowns, but they are she did, interesting to look at. Like some of these, like, she did those too. Yeah. And those are a little bit more refined. And there's that one there. Oh, yeah. And these are actual Shriner clowns. So oh, okay, these, gotcha. These are legit actual clowns. Yeah. And she's got a few more over here. Yeah. She's got names on the back of them. Of yeah. Who they are? That's Young Joey and signing shirts. And they, they, they're a very specific taste. Yeah. In the big picture, her house, very specific uh, house was person so, likes these. Like she had all this hanging. There. Like, it was a yeah. four thousand square foot house, but it still was a lot. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's somebody that's into these for sure. I think the framing is hurting them. I think a lot of these, if they were in a black frame, or something oh, yeah. a little bit less behind glass, even would yeah, look a nice. Less gauche, but yeah, she's a, a force to be. Around. Yeah, for sure. That one right there is another self. That's another self portrait. Oh, okay, yeah. Work herself. At one point, she had a giant vintage circus wagon in her yard. Oh wow! Her yeah. neighbors were happy to see. Yeah, that. I can imagine. <laughs> Are you sure she didn't travel with the circus when she was younger? <laughs> oh. Toyota BZ4X. And on days like this, the multimedia touchscreen display is my oh, own rate sunshine. More clowns, yeah. The all electric Toyota BZ4X. Wow. Electric made easy, easy. Toyota, let's go places. Yeah. Yeah. Gene World. Yeah. That's very 70s, it looks to me. Yeah, I get the Early 70s, probably. Yeah, late 60s. The big ball, ber, uh, bell bottoms. Psychedelic. Yeah, yeah. Green scent. I've never seen one of those signs. No. 
saw them in real time. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit before my time. I'll do uh, 20 on the back. Toys R Us sticker on it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, Howdy Doody cookies. Yeah. All right. Can you sing the Howdy Doody song? No. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a Cylon from Battlestar Galactica. It's by Mattel. It came out in 1978. It's got 175 on it, and I went on eBay. They actually sell for more than that. I saw them for $250 to $320, believe it or not. Do you recognize that as anything? No. Nope. Do you? No. Nope. <laughs> Better dead than red, Karen. Oh, uh, Babe Ruth photo? Yes, original. What's the story? Um, it's just an original type one. Cool. I, gotta send, I should send this out to PSA. From a, oh, yeah, I guess you order your food through here. I don't know what restaurant it's from. It's cool. Well, I have the pencil oil, I have the oil rack. Could be just a generic. Oklahoma. Oh, Independence, Kansas. Yeah. Neat. Strawberry shortcake in the box, 145. Looks like it's missing some of the packaging now. Yeah. Here's an Alvin and the Chipmunks toy, probably from the mid 80s, I'm guessing. It's got 10 bucks on it. I'm not sure who that character is, though. That's definitely not Alvin, Simon, or Theodore. But 10 bucks is a pretty good price for something from the 80s still in the original packaging. This is the booth I got stuck in yesterday when it started downpouring. Oh, is that right? Yep. Oh my gosh, do you Coca-Cola? Hey, Garrett. Garrett. Yeah. Yeah, for an arcade, yeah. the screen would have been behind there, behind the middle section. Oh, yeah. I really like old arcade back glass like this or marquees. Um, but these ones, I didn't really recognize any of them. I'm not sure what games these are from. And a lot of them seem to be for like gambling type games, like they say poker and other types of card games. 
If there was something like Pac-Man, Asteroids, Galaga, something like that, I probably would have bought one of them. box system. No idea what this is. Anybody got any questions? Can't go very far. Can't turn it around. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> okay. And there they're going off. Wow, that's neat. Yep. What point they go? Oh, there's a log jam. Oh, that's cool. Excuse me, how much are the uh, arcade back glass, the uh, marquees? Um, would you want one or many? Uh, there are maybe two I was possibly interested in. Um, I was asking 50 bucks on them, but okay. I can do much, much better. Okay. Um, I sold zero over the week, so yeah. a couple moving would be, all right. would be wonderful. Yeah, and I'll think about that. Thanks. Thirty-five bucks on it, if you feel. Per, yeah, per one. Do. Okay. All right. Yeah. No thanks. I'll think about that. Oh, look at that big fan back there. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Is that the same thing? No, those are all priced down there. That's nice. Well, that's a hell of a big fan. Yeah. Wow! Look at this. This is a Coleco Atom computer from 1983. I had no idea the boxes were so big. It's an Atom, it's a ColecoVision branded Atom computer. Yeah. Like from the early to mid 80s. I had no idea the boxes were so big though. Because oh. this one looks like it has a printer too, which is probably why it's so big. Yeah. But Jesus. It's got a lot of stuff in it. I was only able yeah. to find one sold auction on eBay for an Atom computer like this. Can you hold that for a second? Yeah. The one they had was in a little bit better condition, but it sold for $450 plus shipping. This one's a little bit yellowed, as you can see, but that can be fixed. Yeah, I had no idea they came in such big boxes. That's crazy. I did end up buying this Pac-Man mug here for $10. You'll have to take my word for it, though, because my camera overheated and I couldn't turn it back on again for about 10 minutes. Here's a nice Coca-Cola clock. This one I think is newer just because it says Coke on it and it looks kind of new to me, so I, I'm not sure how old that one is. It's probably from the 80s at the earliest. Here's some nice old outboard motors. I would guess these are probably from the 40s or 50s. And this green one on the end is a Johnson. And I didn't see what the other one was. I think it said Champion maybe? This vendor here always has some really great stuff. It's really high-end, most of it, so it's mostly out of my price range. But it's nice to look at. And here we've got an old Seabird jute box. It says Selectomatic 100. Not sure what year that's from. I'm, I would guess 50s, maybe early 60s. Here's some novelty motel room key fobs, and these are definitely not original, just based on some of the sayings on them. They're a little bit, uh, I would say, rude, naughty, uh, not safe for work, <laughs> but they're neat. And I'm not going to read what they say, just because they are maybe a little bit inappropriate. So what do you think? Are these genuine antique gumball machines, or are these reproductions? 
this sign for Merritt Cleaners is pretty cool. It looks like it used to have neon on it. And if anybody knows where Merritt Cleaners was, let me know in the comments. Here's some more of those gumball machines. He's got them at 100 apiece. And again, I'm just not sure if those are uh, genuine <laughs> antiques or if they're reproductions. Oh, yeah. I think they like these. Odds are, yeah. <laughs> One day, one day, I got caught so bad in the rain that I had to take my shirt off because of the drenched. Yeah. And then later on the next day, it was dry, so I'm just pouring it. Okay. It's washed but I'm just yeah. saying, it's been, it's been miserable. Oh, it's ha have you been here or did you just get here? We came yesterday. Oh, you did. And got rained out. Oh, okay. well, out. Well, just that rain that was here yesterday. It was here the day before and the day before oh, that. God. Got a few of these at home. These are old. They were the floppy save, disc. yeah floppy disk yep. cameras. Very strange. Oh. Only were out for like five years. But or you so. needed one. Yeah, you back then. Put your stuff on the computer or anything like that. Yeah. Now you can't even get a computer with a floppy no. disk drawer. No. And two, like one or two pictures would be too big for a floppy drive nowadays. It would depend. You have to mess around with the settings. Size. Yeah, a real picture, small one. It, that thing automatically wants you to take a picture that's going to be as good to be a poster. Yeah, exactly. It's just a snapshot. Yep. You didn't want to use all the pixels up. Yeah. Where about you guys here? Oh, no. I mean, light, light it up eyes. <laughs> it's a prison TV. Is it? Yeah, they would have them in prison so they couldn't hide stuff in them. Oh, oh you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of internet searches. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've actually got one. I got one. Six. Out. <laughs> yes. It's like the one I had in oh, my yeah, cell. <laughs> Oh, you think they'd let them have their own TV in a cell? Sometimes. Yeah. I guess all the time they probably have cable. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing. But yeah, that's my understanding. That's what those were. But... Yeah, yeah. You can see they yeah. hiding. No. The old Walpole prison, the chef, he had to cook for 81 different religions. Oh, gosh. <laughs> really? Yeah. Make sure you get everything right. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. I guess, I don't know. That's neat. That's probably off. Well, either a like a go kart or yeah. um, like a carnival ride, possibly. Yeah. Those are Volkswagen trunks. Oh, wait. Does anybody know what car that rear bumper is from? Looks like a '70s car to me. <clears throat> and there you have it. That's the end of part two of the July 2023 Brimfield Flea Market. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. Got a lot more flea market videos coming. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.